What's up guys, this is Daniel and welcome to episode 10 of this Watford series, continuing the daily streak, day 2. And I wanted to thank you guys because I took like 5 days off of this series and you guys still gave me awesome support on the last video. So thank you guys, you guys are awesome, my subs are awesome, um, I love you guys. Also, I uploaded a Minecraft Let's Play episode 1. Now I know some of you don't like Minecraft, so um, this won't affect anything FIFA related of my uploads. So if you don't like Minecraft then just easy solution is to not click the video and then people who do like it can watch it and everyone's happy so I'll put that link in the description anyways here's the Europa League table as you saw there I have a game against Spartak Moscow Moscow right now and so what I need to happen is I need to win this game there's there's no ifs ands or buts um, and then I also need PAOK um, I, I pronounced it wrong last video anyways I need them to win the against um stad stad renee or stad ren whatever so here we go let's play this let's see if i can go get past the group stage of the europa league if you saw there john taylor with a finish from sword l shot and now on the other side of things right after i score um i think that was mcgidi gets fouled in the box so now a penalty for wellington loach dives the right way but to no avail one to one draw at this moment 25th minute now Elshar Wee on the ball. He's going to pass it over to Sordell. He's going to try to find space for a shot. Does. Saved by their keeper. And their defender is going to just head it out of bounds. Giving me a corner kick. And if you guys have seen, I've actually been doing a little bit better on corner kicks. So let's see what I can do here. And Sordell, or, and Marvel Wynn gets his first goal in a, I, that's a, it's first goal in a long time. I know that. So um, congratulations to him. But right back, 30th minute now. <laughs> McGeady with a nice little sidestep there. 2-2, two two. this is becoming a goal fest quickly. 36 minute, on, they have a corner. Now, I do lose the ball in the back, but McGinn gathers the ball, plays Sordell, who does a weird little turn there. It's kind of sweet to see. And then look at that, a long, perfectly timed long touch, and Sordell just uses his speed. I actually ended up changing my shooting to semi-assisted rather than fully assisted. And you know what? I, f I find that my shots are going a little bit more where I want them to so um, I've also found myself missing some easy shots too but anyways 56 minute there I tried I mean I, I feel like I did a good job of defending there um, I thought Loach would have done better so last chance here 88th minute Regatsu on the ball he's gonna cut it back inside find El Sharawi who's gonna have a chance here and hits it off the post there so they clear it and that is the end so I do draw that game three to three and the whole thing is, is I do not move on in the Europa League. So, um, I mean, I, I guess PAOK could have played um, Stad Rene to a win and beat them by more than three goals, but I would, would have moved on, but they ended up losing. So, anyways, this is a game against Arsenal. If you guys did not see there, you can rewind the video. I am playing on Legendary. Now, I wanted to play a game on Legendary to see how it was, and the, the grand consensus of things is it sucked. Look at that save by Chesney. Anyways... The reason why it sucks is because I had like 30% possession. They had, um, I think, oh, if I had 30, they had 70% possession. And um, just basically short, short thing from that is it sucked. It wasn't fun to play. Um, I, I did hold my own though. So um, as you see here, I did hold my own. In the 45th minute, it's still nil to nil. Um, I'm going to have McGinn. Take a little touch here and a nice little shot. Now, I hate the snow. You guys all know that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So if you guys can't see it, I'm sorry. There's really nothing I can do. I just wish I would take it out of the game, to be honest. I did create some chances, as you see there. Redmond, who had been subbed in, makes a nice shot. Now, Dini um, finds Redmond. Has another nice shot. And right now, 86 minute on the goal kick. Chesney is going to play the ball out. It's going to get flicked on to uh, Gervinho. Dickinson misses... Uh, defensive error and Loach does bad so that is how that game ended one to nil and so quickly I changed this back to world class now it's not because I can't win I do believe I can win and to be honest I feel like I would have that result against a world class arsenal too it's just it's not fun to play I do this season or this series because it is fun to play so switch it back to world class and now I am playing Wigan Athletic who is at the bottom of the table and look at that Sordell, Rabona, Rabona cross over to Regatsu with a nice acrobatic bicycle kick. Pretty darn good, to, if you ask me. And just like a mirror image right now, 
Now Blobbin is headed out from the goal kick over to Sordell now, and he's going to try to do the same exact thing, a Rabana over to Regatsu, and he just misses the sitter. Absolutely horrible there. We will continue to play, try to get our second goal, give us a little cushion. Sordell on the ball here. As you see there, semi-assisted shooting, you know, kind of goes across goal there, a little weird shot, but um, just off the crossbar, Sordell unlucky not to finish. Now in the 45th minute, uh, bringing Loach out, and you know, he, he does pretty well in my opinion. You see their ball's like stuck to his hand. Anyways, he does well, and so they get a penalty, and uh, I don't agree with that, but it is now a one-to-one -one draw. So late in the game, I make a three-man substitution, as you saw there, and look at this pass from them in the 73rd minute. Um, that penalty kind of flattened things out, on my play at least. Over to Moses, who has a shot, and once again, I mean, like, I guess that maybe was a foul. I'm not sure. But 75th minute, a penalty again, and he finishes it. So Wigan, last in the table, goes up 2-1 to one on me, and that is how that one ended. I lose to two penalties. Very frustrating, but you know what? And, and see, like, that was on world class, so, but it was still fun to play. Anyways, Premier League table here. And as you see there, I'm sitting in seventh now. Tied with Everton. Well, Everton's one goal differential ahead. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like the daily upload streak. And I'll talk to you guys next episode.